Good morning, Internet. Today we are doing Mexican cornbread. This is a personal favorite of mine. It is taking cornbread and making it into something that is extra special. The moisture, it's, oh, we're going to put a little treso in there. You guys are going to love this. This is super good. So what we got here is we've got store-bought cornbread packages. You can find those in your grocery store in the bakery aisle. About 50 cents a piece. Do take advantage of that. It makes this super, super easy and pretty low cost. So here's the secret ingredient, guys. We're using sweet cream corn. What an underutilized ingredient for putting natural sweetness into food. This is going to add moisture. It's going to create a nice little bit of chew within the cornbread that is really welcomed. You're going to love it. So here we, here we go. We're going to take three eggs. We're going to get them in a bowl here. Each one of the packets call for one egg. Four eggs I thought would be too much when I created this recipe a few years ago. Three works perfectly, so trust me on that. Three. So we got those mixed up. We're going to get them in the bowl here. And then we're going to add in a little half and half. You could use whole milk or you could use heavy cream, but what is half and half? Half and half is half whole milk and half heavy cream, which adds more moisture, of course, and then a little extra fat, which is going to create a more, you know, a little bit of extra chew. It's going to, it's just going to be perfect. <laughs> you guys, if you try this, I promise you, you will never make regular cornbread again, not unless it's by request. So we're going to mix our dry and our wet together here. You're going to mix it in stages. This just helps make sure you don't get any lumps in there. Usually about in three, three stages is usually perfect when mixing ingredients, wet and dry ingredients. So combine those guys together. And here's one of the real important steps. That cast iron was in a 425 degree oven for at least five minutes. You want to get it real hot and we're going to add some oil to it. And this is going to allow the cornmeal batter to start cooking it pretty much as soon as it hits the cast iron. And it's also going to help create that really wonderful crispy crust that we love when we're eating cornbread. So it's like the end piece of a lasagna or something. It's the best part, but it's the whole part when you do it this way. And if you don't have a cast iron, that's okay. You might go get one. They're pretty cheap. So smooth it out. We're trying to get little air bubbles out right there. Just getting everybody nice and, and level. And then we're going to add some green onion here. We're going to put a little bit of flavor right in the middle, which is what's going to make this cornbread extra special. Little or as light as you like on that. You could use chives too. Here's a cool ingredient. We're going to use some chorizo, which is Mexican pork sausage. Some people think chorizo is really hot. It's not. It's really what makes it that red color is paprika or smos paprika, which is actually from a bell pepper that's been dried. So it's really not hot, but you know, there's garlic in there and there can be a little bit of spice and it's really inexpensive. It's about a dollar or so a package at your grocery store. So that's a really cool ingredient. It has a little hardiness. You can admit anything you don't like. We're using a blend of Mexican cheeses here. Give us that little bit of extra ooey gooey yumminess that's going to be right in the middle. It's like a little surprise when you guys bite into it, which is really unusual with cornmeal. It's what makes this so extra cool. And you're going to love to serve it to your friends and family too. When they have it, they're going to look at you and go, what in the world did you just make? This is so good. Why has this not been in my life? So here we go. We're going to put the rest of the batter right on top. And once we've got it on top, we're just going to pat it out, work your way around, make it look as nice as you, as you can. It takes a moment or two to try to hide the edges like that. And it doesn't have to be perfect. We're doing, we're doing cornbread here. All right, we're going to add a little more cheese. It's going to give a really great presentation when it comes out of the oven. You're going you're gonna to see it here in a moment. It looks really cool. And into the oven. This cooks pretty quick too. Into a 425 degree oven for about 20 minutes. You'll know it's done whenever you can stick a toothpick in it. It comes out clean. Let's take a look. Voila, folks. That is beautiful. That is cornbread at its best. You guys are going to love this. Oh, I'm ready to eat some right now. So that's a little green onion on there. Just adds a little color. Garnish. Always nice. Reading with their eyes. Cut a piece out here and take a look and see what we did. What goes better with cornbread than chili, folks? Got an amazing recipe on the website. It's really been successful. I have a link below for you guys. You should really check that out. You will not be disappointed. And here we go. We've got some Mexican cornbread. Probably the best cornbread recipe on the internet. You guys are going to get it right here. Everything's going to be on the website. Link below. Printable. Instructions. And you, too, can have this Mexican cornbread. <laughs> Come join us on social media. We'd love to have you guys there. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the like button. Like I said, everything's on the website. You guys have the best. Take care.